How do you do, ladies and gentlemen? Cleet Roberts reporting the international scene. Bill Stout with the local news. Tom Harmon on deck for all the late sport news. This is the new special leaving the KTLA lot. Please stand by for complete coverage of the Bel Air fire. We estimate our time of arrival on the scene at 20 minutes. We'll be able to give you complete coverage at that time. Meanwhile, we switch you to Larry Shear in the KTLA telecopter now over the fire. You are not urged but warned to stay completely out of this area. The roads and the thoroughfares must be kept open for firefighting and emergency equipment. Any sightseers or spectators attempting to get into this area will be arrested immediately. No questions asked. There again is the man in the top off that we are over. This now is covering some two and a half or three acres. And you can see how close the flames are coming to this home. Actually, right down in the front yard of the home. A lot of fire equipment there. Firefighters are working as effectively and as fast and efficiently as they possibly can. Golden West Broadcasters, Channel 5, KTLA, Los Angeles. Good evening. Rewards totaling $140,000 are being offered or proposed for information leading to the arrest of the Los Angeles Strangler. And we're going to show you what some women are doing to protect themselves in dangerous situations. They're learning the art of fighting off attackers. Tighter regulations are being proposed under which the government will pay for sterilization operations. And former President Gerald Ford, speaking here in Los Angeles, has some comments about the upcoming preliminary peace conference in Cairo. Governor Brown has returned to Los Angeles from London, but this time he did not take the cheapy flight. And John Wayne is back in familiar surroundings, working for a new outfit, one he says he can be proud of. Tonight on News Watch with Hal Fishman, Marilyn Devon, and Larry McCormick. This news, the latest update from the Southland's number one news team. This is Channel 7, the number one station for news and information in Southern California. And now, the latest breaking eyewitness news with Christine Lund, Harold Green, Eddie, Dr. George, and the eyewitness news team. Good evening. Here's what's happening at 11 o'clock tonight. New development in that air tragedy in San Diego. Federal investigators tonight held another news briefing on the investigation into that A fire at the 20th Century Fox Studios has knocked out the filming of the MASH television show until at least next Monday. A scene from MASH was being filmed late this afternoon when an electrical short triggered the small blaze. The stars of the show, crew and extras all ran to safety, but two crewmen were overcome. From the mountains to the sea, from the valleys to the desert, from Malibu to Montebello, from Tipperary to Timbuktu, from Disneyland to Disney World, from here to eternity. A very pleasant You're evening so to you all. People, worthless diamond pins. You, you took every penny. My diamond pins offer was a perfectly legitimate offer. They mortgaged the homes that they built with their blood and sweat and tears. And now you're going to close the bank and leave them out in the cold. Well, not while I'm around. And just what do you propose to do about it? I'm going to tell David Horowitz on you. <laughs> Fight back with oh, oh. David Horowitz. Weeknights on the Channel 4 News. <laughs> TVOD, 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 I don't need a TV screen. I just stick the aerial into my skin and let the signal run through my veins. TVOD. T 
TVOD, TVOD, TVOD. I don't need no TV screen. I just stick the aerial into my skin and let the signal run through my veins. TVOD. a bulletin from Channel 5 News. Singer Elvis Presley has died in a Memphis, Tennessee hospital. The 45-year-old entertainer apparently died of a respiratory ailment. No other details were given. Repeating, singer Elvis Presley has died at the age of 45. A complete report tonight on Newswatch at 10.